call the regular council meeting to order at City Hall February 19, 2019 at 7 p.m. <clears throat> Are there any additions to the agenda this evening? I would request a five minute executive session for potential hiring. comments this evening. <coughs> I have to ask. <laughs> All right, moving on consent agenda. Approved minutes of regular council meeting February 5th, 2019. Also appropriation ordinance 2-19-19 the amount of 18,561 cents. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and a second. He's here. All in favor? All opposed? Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Department Head Committee reports Grant Administrator Lisa Cornwell not here. Anything, I'm just bad, so I'm anything for Lisa? Moving on. Police Chief. Jim? Uh, just give you guys a quick update. Our new officer, Octavia Gonzalez, has been with us for approximately a week now, uh, catching on very, very quickly. He was a major asset to our agency already. On a uh, case we had at shortstop last Wednesday, he was able to interpret when we had a major language barrier, so it made things go very quickly and proficiently out there, so that was much appreciated. Um, currently, I've got Bill attending a two-day supervisor class. Uh, he started it today and he'll finish it up tomorrow at uh, KLATC. Um, the patrol truck should, things go well, should have the uh, cage and the uh, gun racks installed on it, hopefully uh, this weekend. Uh, that's what it's initially scheduled for anyway. Probably be picked up Thursday night. Hopefully have it back either Saturday or Sunday if things continue to go the way they are. So I haven't had a, heard an update other than that. So, And uh, I think that's all I got for you right now. Thank you, Jim. Anything for Jim this time? Can you explain the telephone that you purchased? Uh, those were two of the cell phones that were outdated. Uh, they were out of warranty. They were ready for an upgrade. We were having some issues. Uh, we use our cell phones quite a bit for uh, documentation as far as picture taking. The qualities of pictures were not very good. Uh, I spoke to the uh, uh, Next, Next Tech people out there. Uh, the way the phones had been being purchased was we were paying a set price and uh, plus a monthly service charge. They recommended just buying the two phones outright it would be cheaper, would not change our phone, uh, and that would keep us uh, with a uh, two-year warranty with the phones. So they were, uh, I believe, 290 or $300 a piece. And uh, we just went with the two that were available for an upgrade. It didn't cost us anything extra. If you upgrade early, you're going to pay quite a bit, so we did not want to do that. So and those were the two phones that were ready, so that's why that's why we did that. Okay, anything else for Jim? Thank you, Jim. Yes. Moving on, Fire Chief, Michael. The only thing I got, <clears throat> the training facility, the county's wanting to have some sort of agreement so that everybody knows that it's their equipment that's going to be setting on the property. So as soon as they get that drawn up, we'll should be good to go with that. So that's all I have. As far as getting it set up, did you talk to anybody about who's going to put it all, stack them on, move them for us? We haven't got that. Can our digger trucks do that, Jeff? Probably. I don't know what they weigh, but I'm sure we can. Depending yeah, on I'm not. Have to reach. I don't know. I exactly. hate to pay anybody to do right, right, right. the loader. And I don't know how you hook them, so I don't know. But I'm sure we can and figure out something. Well, we thought maybe even if the county had forks. They've got a long set of forks. We have a we have a set of extensions for our loader. We really don't have a set of forks per se. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if that if, if they can be picked up that way or I mean I'm not exactly sure. So uh, I guess we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yeah, if if the city and county can do it and not be any expense, that would be the way to go. Uh, so I think the only the biggest part is having a trailer and hauling one down and, and hopefully having somebody down there that we can unload one while another is loading up down there that way we don't have to run back and forth back and forth you know but uh, said we can figure that out when we, when we get to that point how wide are they can you tell me that are they semi costco trailers is that like yeah yeah. yeah okay yeah yeah whatever that is whatever trailer with our, is our bigger truck before but yeah, yeah. I don't know how you way. hook onto them, but I'm sure we'll figure out a way. So yeah, yeah. They have a, on the corners. They have where you can put a chain around it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. We can pick it up then. Yeah. No big deal. Sure. That's all for cheap. Okay, moving on. City clerk, if you guys have anything you'd like to talk to Jamie about, of course you can do that. <clears throat> on the uh, office hours, she was just wanting to let you guys know that she's going to start posting a lunch hour. Uh, where the office is closed um, just because of the fact that we are down to two and it will be easier uh, just to go get lunch taken care of come back there's consistency for people instead of one day we have a note on the door that says we're closed for lunch and another day we don't uh, people coming down and getting that inconvenience it's just easier to let them go get their thing done and come back um, so just wanted to let you know that was going on so when you start seeing that has she said what time she's she has she hasn't told me what time she but I, I told her I said you know if you could shift it around the lunch hour where it would be like at 11:30 to 12:30 or 12:30 to 1:30 yeah. that way people could come in over their lunch for a little bit or use the drop box or whatever so that way you guys know what's going on when you see that it's just more consistency so you know, you go, oh, I went up to that dang city office and it was closed today for lunch and it's just more consistent. People know what's going on and you don't have one person in here by themselves trying to do everything and getting bombarded and it would be much easier for them. Okay, moving on. City Superintendent Jeff. I guess I probably should explain part of that Fairbanks bill. Of all the weeks that the weather could have got mean on us when we were requesting parts out of Houston, the fog had to come in and sit down. They couldn't land a plane in Wichita to get our parts off. We red-eyed the parts. We the, the mechanic traveled on Monday. He was here on Tuesday. We tore it apart. We got done by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We realized we didn't have the right parts. We called Houston, had the parts red-eyed out. Wednesday morning, the fog was on the ground. The UPS couldn't land in Wichita. They didn't get in until late in the day. We didn't get the parts till Thursday morning. So by the time we got it done, we warmed the engine up, and he left on Friday. We had five days. I figured about three. We couldn't beat the weather. I mean, just if we could have changed it in any way, if we had, a, if we'd have had any idea it was a marine engine on the inside, we'd have known from the start what parts. But it came out of the came out of the uh, salt water in Louisiana when we bought it years ago, and I don't guess anybody logged that in their paperwork when they put it in because Fairbanks helped put it in but anyway we had stationary engine parts and we needed marine parts and so by the time we got them it was Thursday morning we got them together the engine was cold we warmed it up all night started a Friday morning loaded it up sent him home so I apologize but I don't know what else I can do just the fact of can't beat Mother Nature, I guess. I so. think that if people uh, would have lost their power, they'd have been pretty upset. So well, it's we good could, that it's back up and yeah, going. Yeah, you know, we rely on the wind in the wintertime because some of you know and some of you don't. We don't start that cooper in the wintertime because the return water is all outside. We can't leave it in there, you know. So we rely on that OP in the wintertime. And when it's down and as cold as it's been, the load's heavy enough that the caterpillar won't hold it. So it's just kind of one of those things so anyway that's all I got for now until we get the old we business to prove that it's already been it was in the appropriation wasn't it yeah so I have some stuff on the dumpster but I'll wait some of those so, things you just can't prevent yeah I mean it just was a bad deal of all weeks 
we had three days that fog was on the ground. I mean, there's, you know, there's basically nobody that's closer that can do that. See, that's the thing. I called all three guys that I knew, and I waited to last to call Fairbanks because they're always the highest. But you know, I explained to you that that mechanic that we normally use was in the hospital. I called the guys that did our our uh, exhaust out in Nebraska. They're on an engine in Illinois, going to be there for another 90 days. So they're the only two guys I know that do it. You know, so part of it sometimes. It's done. It's up. It's running. It's in good shape. So anyway, I hope he had some good meals. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope he slept good. He said they always stay in the Holiday Inn. I took him out for lunch one day to kind of cut it back a little, but I don't think I helped him much. I don't think you did either. <laughs> I tried, but I don't think it worked. So. 360 for five days. He probably, yeah. probably ate again after lunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would uh, make a motion to approve the $13,930.07 to Fairbanks for the repair of the generator. I have a motion, a second. Motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Carries 5-0. City Attorney John Beverly. I don't know if you guys got it or not because I wasn't aware that Jamie was sick, but uh, Sunday, no, Saturday, I sent her an email passing along <coughs> regarding the tuition reimbursement. The uh, council asked me, well, Mayor, was it? Were you there? Talking? You were not there. Uh, tuition reimbursement related to. Uh, uh, the uh, benefits and salary paid to the law enforcement officer when um, they're in training and whether that can be recouped if they leave within a certain period of time after that training. Uh, there is a statute, state statute, that deals with that. Well, I'm looking like you guys did not receive my memo. No. Okay. <laughs> but so. I did find out on my own that there is a state statute about it. Okay, well, um, Jim did find me the Fredonia agreement, so I will um, ask Jamie to send you that memo. Uh, and if you have any questions, then we can talk about it next council meeting, or you can email a response or something. Okay. okay. Anything for John? Uh, no report from me, except for I do appreciate Mark taking care of the meeting last time for me. I was out and about much needed time away <laughs> much needed time away so thank you very much mark mm -hmm. okay moving on old business trash dumpster you'd asked me to get some prices on some chain link for around the dumpster uh, we called wally eldridge and he basically told us that 80 by 80 would be about fourteen thousand four hundred dollars if we wanted to take 20 foot off of it, you could knock about 2,000 off of it. Now we did, David did price some panels like was up around the grocery store during a uh, building erection out there. And we could get enough panels to go around it, uh, posts and cement and all, or maybe even not the cement for 6,000 or less for movable type panels. So if we did, you know, want to change the way that we let them in or out, we could just chain two panels together. Um, that'd be you guys' choice, but that would make it a little more versatile uh, to be able to fit around the dumpsters. You know, we can move the dumpsters to a point after he drops them, but uh, we have to just kind of shove them and drag them because they're, they're strictly forward and back. So. You know, if you want, if if that was an option that you wanted to look at, why well, that's about what we come up there. The other thing was with the cameras, we really didn't find anything that's uh, that would capture uh, on movement, except for maybe just a good high quality game camera or something. You know, if we did have trash in there that didn't belong, we just didn't really see anything that really fit the needs of I think what we're really looking for. So, um, Jeff, like. And you said the city of Stafford has it like in their yard. What's the problem with us putting it by the fire station? Because if we know we, if we have guys there, or traffic. nothing except we park there, you know. But we'd have to have we'd have to leave room so they could get up there. Now there's parks. There's if you've been by there, it's north of the power mm -hmm. plant. Inside, of course, all their yard is fenced in. But uh, no, I don't have a problem doing it that way. I mean, I mean that's, if you think we can make it work, I mean, whether it's on this side the or... The problem would be it'd be trying to get them dropped and picked up, I think, without busting the curb, trying to take them on and off. That'd be my only worry. 
you know, other than that, no, I don't have a problem with it at all. I mean, we usually we can keep an eye on it down there, but it's the weekends that's the problem. I mean, people will bring stuff in there like you cannot imagine. But, I don't know. That's a thing down there. There's like no eyes down there at all. Just the camera is the only thing we've got. And, I mean, we do check it. But usually by the time that somebody hauls in a truckload, if there's 10 bags of trash out of there, you ain't going to get them. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know that we could watch it any better up here, but maybe out in the open in the line of sight, people would have a little more of a guilty conscience about what they throw in. I don't know. I don't know. If, it, if it's there, it's not out in the township road. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that'd be my only worry is the way that that guy loads those. You know, I'd be if, if he'd drop it off the edge of the curb, we might bust the curb there, because it'll take up pretty pretty much where the guys park, if that's what you did with it. So, it'd be up to you to figure out if, wherever you think it could sit. I still, I think I'd still rather like it down there. I mean, I think it's easier to handle and stuff down there, and when and it's it's kind of protected by the wind this time of year from the building, and when we do, we can at least get the trash picked up. We keep a tarp in the dog pen down there so we can tarp it down. So I mean, if we wanted to, if we wanted to isolate it any more than that, why well, that's your call. You know whether you want to fence it and lock it up, or you know what you want to do. Is that eighty by eighty with gates, big big gates? For yes, the with two gates on each end. Yeah, fourteen thousand three ninety nine is what it was. Is there any way you think you and the guys could do that? That fence? We probably could. Um, I don't know. I don't know a lot about stretch and chain, but we can. I mean, this was just a six-foot fence. Mm -hmm. I, oh, six I think I'd almost rather use the panels if we were going to do that. At least they'd be more flexible. You, can move if you, need you know, I know when we were working out at the grocery store, we could pull one of them posts and get in there where we needed to, or pick them up and swing them around. We could also maybe use, utilize the garage and that old well house, and some of that. You know. At least during this time of year. Now in the summer, if we have to generate, it wouldn't be a very good place for it. But, but um, I don't know. We could get a whole lot more out of 150 or 60 foot of those panels by utilizing part of the building, I think, and being able to lock. You know, that's your call whether you want us to lock it up on the weekends. You know, or have my guys on call lock it and unlock it. I mean, they're they're by there every day, so. But I just think versatility-wise, we'd be better off with the panels, I think. Did you get, did, I wasn't listening, did you get us a price on those panels or no? David, David looked them up and, and we looked them up through Orsland's. Orsland's has them and they're basically like a big heavy-duty dog pen panel, I think is what they are. But we might go to a rental place in Wichita or somewhere where they rent that fence and see if we can buy them that way. That's one thing we haven't done. I think it's a little better quality fence. Probably. So. I think if you make it inaccessible, the trash will just be outside the fence. I'm afraid. We, I'm afraid you're right. <laughs> That's human nature. Yeah, I mean, when we cover even, when we cover it up, people dump it beside there. If it's inaccessible, it's either dumped out in the county road ditches. Like Some tires, tires, yeah, tires you're right. Out there. You're exactly you right. Dump, I won't argue with that. It's going to be dumped outside your fence. Right? At least here we have a camera. We can kind of halfway catch kind, it. Kind of know that they're doing. I mean, that. maybe put a little better quality camera out there than what we've got, but at least we can see. I mean, we can usually pick out who it is. So. Doing it at Goodwill. Goodwill's not open. They just throw the stuff out the front door. Yeah. Oh, you can't imagine <laughs> the stuff we get in there. I mean, you just can't. Everything from feed sacks to trash sacks to... I mean, wouldn't you guys agree that that problem was... It, it would help the problem to have it down here? Yeah, I just don't want to really look mm -hmm. at it. The trash would be going in my yard. <coughs> yeah. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing, you know, at least down there we can kind of control it. I mean, not great, but if we can keep an eye on it, we usually try and get a tarp before the yeah. fact, because those they won't take it yeah. once it's over full, see? We'll mash it a couple of times, and we usually tarp it in so. my yard anymore. But sometimes after we call Pam, it might be three or four or five days before they come get it, too. Hmm. It's just the luck of the draw. So. Well, I think that the uh, pro on moving it over here would be most people wouldn't want to throw something in there with fear of being caught. 
I don't know whether it's the case or not. <laughs> I don't know whether it would be, you know, but... It, on Friday, know, maybe. On Sunday, no, probably yeah, not. You still, but there's still people walking around. There's still people see stuff. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm, I'm with uh, Ryan on this. I'd rather not see it over here. Well, but see, the other thing is, too, we mash it with the backhoe, and it takes quite a bit of room. Right. We swing out to the south of it, usually, and take the hoe and mash it down. So it takes 40 feet on top of, you know. Right. So what if we put it down here, but also had a picket fence or vinyl fence around it? The trash is going to be outside the fence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we still run down it here. The w there's a lot less wind because of the church and the fire station, though. I mean, yeah, I don't know where uh -huh. are going. I'd, I'd uh -huh. argue that point. I think that building down there is pretty long, and we protect a good share of it. Most of the time, it's in the middle of the building, you know. Mm -hmm. And at least if it goes, it goes <clears throat> south where we can see it. And nobody else does, and we get it picked up. So. Well, we got to do something. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do whatever you ask. I agree. I just like it. Marshall's been quiet for quite a while. It's an awful lot of money to spend on. Yeah. Well, you, you can have a lot of guys with a stick out there for fourteen thousand. Yeah. I mean, we take pretty good care of it most of the time. I don't see the. I don't see it's a problem. So we've a couple of times we've had to pick up trash, but most of the time we catch it early enough that it, you know, and like I say, we do keep a tarp in the end of the dog pen where we can tarp it down. So I'd say look at trying to find a camera of some sort if you're going to keep the dumpster. Let me out see there if I can get a little fence. better grade of camera. Just going to end up outside the fence, okay. and then ticket the crap out of them if okay. you catch them. I'll do some looking. I'll I'll see what I can find. Chime in, but we just found a new security system called Arlo. It's wireless. You buy it by the number of cameras you want to buy. Uh -huh. Runs off of off a, a unit, but it only turns on when uh, when it's senses motion. It's completely waterproof. There might be something to look at as well. We pick up the vehicles and everything moving there. I mean, you know, I don't know. Where, where do you check to, for cameras at? We got well. I looked. I looked several different places on websites, but. Our original camera system came through Randy Clark, and so we've got cameras out to dump, and we've got cameras down there, and, and and several other places. But you know, in order to be basically compatible with what we got, there's only a certain amount of things that we can that we can put on it without going to the expense of opening up and buying something basically just for that one spot. You know, I mean, it's not hard to run back through there and see in a 24-hour day if we catch something in there. Usually from the time we quit till the next morning, we'll find out who it is. You know, the weekends are the big deal. I mean, that's when you get dumped on and you have no idea. But, but all in all, you know, we keep a pretty good eye on it most of the time. It's the loose stuff on top that gets away. That shouldn't be in there anyway. So. Council thoughts? I might check the Golden Belt telephone too. I don't know if it's anything compatible with what. You guys have down there. Yeah, I don't know. They sell them too. Okay. When you're All saying right. compatible, you're saying to hook it to our system that we With have the system somehow. we have, because it's on my phone, it's on the other guy's phone, because we watch the panel board and stuff, and inside the plan and around the plan. So switch gear and the and the the, uh, the primary stuff out in the sub and that stuff. We keep an eye on it. So um, yeah, I'll do some checking, see what I can find out. Sure, I'm glad to. The council adopted the. Um, dumpster fee ordinance last time, but the council hasn't really instructed me to do a resolution to establish that fee, that, that fee amount. The ordinance allows you to uh, adopt a resolution setting that fee when you want to. Purpose being so that anytime you want to stop it or increase it, you don't have to pass a new ordinance. Right. Um, is that something the council wants to do? Thoughts? I've heard a dollar, I've heard two dollars. Oh, fee for. Yeah. But a dollar probably wouldn't still cover what we pay to have it dumped every month. How many bills would it be on? Oh, it's depending on how much trash you get. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
like last time we, I think there was. How many bills do we send out? How many bills? About 800. Okay, so 800 bucks a month. And depending on how many times it's dumped, mm -hmm. it's I think the average is around between 8 to 10, like $1,000 a So monthly. you wouldn't recoup all of it, but you would recoup a good portion. $2 on state, and you've covered the cost. I wouldn't go that far. And neither would I have already got pushback from the dollar. I don't have a problem with the dollar. Neither do I. But I've heard you know, several people tell me, don't care if it's $2 either. So, you know, I'm going to pay $36 a year and not ever use it. So. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people use it. Yeah, which I'm fine with. It, well, it just I'm comes right. back to if you want to look at your neighbor's trash in the yard yeah. or if you want it to be in the dumpster. Yeah. I agree. Uh, sorry. I guess we can always revisit it, you know, if it starts getting dumped more than what it is right now, then we can raise it. Like John said, we can always raise it down. That's the but even, even then, we're still, right now, we're still depleting that fund that it's being yeah. pulled out of. But you're not depleting yeah. it near as quick. Yeah. Right. And sometimes we, you know, we don't dump like four times a month sure. either. Right. Like you're making your money back, sometimes we only have to dump twice, you know, but still. So what do we need to do, John? Just so we direct me to draft it somehow. Draft it for <laughs> a draft dollar. Draft it somehow, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do a dollar. A dollar, yeah. Draft it for a dollar. For a dollar. For a dollar. Okay. Does the council want to go ahead and get a dumpster back and then go ahead and do this camera deal in the process, or what do you want me to do here? We need to do something. I'd hate to get more calls in the next two weeks. <laughs> I know there's been a lot of people come by there and see that it's not there and went on, you know. So, I mean, you're saying, like, if you checked into the cameras, like... I'd go ahead I and get, do a, that. I'd go I ahead do get that. a dumpster back and see if we can't try to monitor it and keep looking at camera stuff. I'll try and get you some camera I, stuff. I'm not really meeting. looking forward to spending 14000 or even $6,000 for fence. No. Because I think you're right. People will show up down there, and if they yeah. can't get in, it's just going to be piled by there, yeah. and you're going to pick it up anyway. Yeah, that's right. But I think maybe some better signs and... John, if you could we did. put a fine on there for yep. for dumping in it? Could we do that? Would yeah. that help? You've got a standard uh, offense fine. I mean, we you know we basically put in English and Spanish both what we don't want in there, but uh, you know there's no Maybe there's no signs. there's no fine. So bigger signs with a fine on it. And you're being watched. Big red letters. Yeah. This under I'm this area's you. under this area's under surveillance signs. I'm maybe. watching you. But get I'd get those signs up on some posts, you know, instead of on the ground with the barrels and okay. make it. Okay. Jim's address in case they witness illegal dumping. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> you want to put a, you want to put a fine Thanks. price on there? Yeah, don't you usually be said up well, to a thousand dollars, didn't you, John? I mean, that's the way the one at the tree side is. It's up to a thousand dollars, I think. Yeah. Only difference between that dumpster and that tree side is if if the state lady catches it at the tree side, she'll lock the gate. Up to a thousand dollars. Okay. Or okay. imprisonment up to one hundred seventy nine days. Man, I can't that's get a sign that big. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can. But yeah. Okay. All right. That we'll take care of it. Okay. Okay. Moving on to new business. There is no new business. We're not visiting that item until Jamie comes back. Also into executive sessions. We're not discussing Jamie's executive session until she gets back. But we do have a five-minute executive session to discuss a potential hire for the police department. That would include the chief counsel attorney, Pam. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Brian Sanders to reconvene at 7.31, or excuse me, 7.34. So that's a quick five That's a very quick five, five minutes. Yeah. All in favor? All opposed? Carries. Five votes. Okay. Okay. Call the meeting back to order at 7.34. I'd like to make a motion to hire Anthony Bolger for police department at $14 an hour. A motion on the table. Do I hear a second? Any other discussion?
discussion? Motion dies for lack of a second. No action being taken at this time. You know, we've sat here at this council table several times discussing this. We've had the community come in here and tell us what they want to have a fully staffed police department and why council is determined to not listen to the people who put us in these positions is beyond me. There was uh, also a study done as well that recommended am I correct in that? You know, yes. There has never been a study. Yes, there I've was a study that study. was done never several years ago, Jim, and it stated no, that it was four officers were years. needed in no, no, this no, no, department. No, 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 a study done. They hired a consultant to complete this study. Is yep. that correct? Yes. We can get a copy of that for yes. everybody. Well, I'm not necessarily opposed to hiring people. Police department study. I don't even know where it was going to move here. You know, I don't. I think personally, we can get by with three officers. Think so too. You know, I. I mean, I don't think two officers, but I think three officers. I know, but maybe, also maybe we don't need 24-hour coverage. Well, that's a decision you need to make. Is do you want 24-hour coverage? As far as on Here's the, the street, you're going to have 24-hour coverage. 24 hour coverage. Do you want it on the street no. or do you want it on call coverage? Because you're going to have it regardless. It's just do you want it as on call coverage? On call. You know, that's what you need to decide and tell your chief. I hired our chief with the understanding that this council had a four-person pol police department that included the chief with the possibility of a part-timer. That was in his interview because that was what one of the first things that was stated when I stepped on. So that's what I had went to this gentleman with when he was asking, what do we have? What does this community uh, expect? And so that's what was uh, discussed. So you guys need to decide what you want uh, and, and decide it and be done with it and support it and get over it. So if it's having three, it's having three. If you lose your department over it because they all understand that it's a four-person department, that's what we have to deal with. But it needs to be decided, and people just need to be done with the issue. You want a motion? Yeah, I'd like to hear a motion. I move that we go to a three-person police department with on-call people to fill in. Second. I have a question on that real quick, if I can. Sure. As far as when you say on-call people, are you talking just to fill the time? What, what, what we have now, or do you want another part time person, or just do it with the people you have now? Okay. So, the understanding is a three person department covering the streets, and on as far as 24 hours goes, when they're not on the street, they're just on call. Correct? I'm not the manager, but that would be my choice. Well, that's what that's I'm, I'm asking that's, for verification. That's my motion. Uh, motion, second. No other discussion? I, th I think there's some legal issues with with doing an on-call. I, I guess maybe we need to go amend the agenda and go in executive session after a client because what you guys may consider on-call and what you're saving by doing an on-call may not be of actual savings. Is it? We've been down this road I'm not sure I've ever seen an on-call policy. And what that policy says, man. Chief, you guys work 12 hour shifts, correct? Eight hours on, four hours on call, roughly. R roughly, that's what we've got right now. That's how your schedule is based? Yeah, but basically, eight, the first eight hours of your, well, you've got eight hours to cover the street, four hours to be on call. While the officer's on call, they're paid, uh, I believe it's $2 an hour. The standby pay. Yeah. The standby pay. And if they get called out, you know, then obviously the, the on call stops and then time and a half starts and there's limitations to what they can do during that on-call period correct yeah uh, pretty much I mean and because we revisited all this at one time when we actually paid mm -hmm. I think all city personnel that are on call or maybe it was just police department yeah. or it was just the police department at the time so. you still need well I mean as long as the council don't understands that being on call doesn't mean you're not paying somebody Right. Okay. Right. They're still. They'll receive their right, their time. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? 
All opposed? What do we got here? It'll look like two and two. Two and two and you're abstaining? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. You, you, you got to vote, don't you? Yeah. So, so well, yeah, because he's abstaining. I don't care. I can say no or abstain. Whatever you want to write me down that. Are I'm, you not, I'm not. I'm not making. No, I I'm not making instant decisions. No, I'm going to tell you guys that. Both I vote. Ways. Do you want to just table it? I vote no. So it's three, two. I, I'm not going to make a. Three, two. On, see on the decision. I, I think his abstention becomes no. I think you're only going to vote if there, if he's not here. If you're not here. Right? So it's still a three to two. If he abstains, it's a no vote. Yeah. yeah. It's still mm -hmm. three two. Motion doesn't carry. I'm kind of a yes or no, he said. He did. He abstained. It's a no vote. You know, on a previous police department, I was doing quite a bit of research, and three guys in the part time is fine until we get down to vacation. And like right now, we're in Bill's training, and that's when it puts people in issues where it's not good. Yeah, because right now, like tonight, for instance, I'm on for the next 36 hours by myself. I mean, that's just what my previous research done that. Uh, and I'd hate to see, I mean, and I can bring at the next meeting how many hours I've actually worked since I started here, which I, I know I'm salary, but it's getting old. I'm just, it did work out. Three guys part-time will work out until those issues arise. And then you're screwing your own people. That's the last exactly time right. when we had this issue, you had one officer who was here who missed a funeral of I believe it was his uh, mother-in-law. That's unacceptable. In my book, it is. And we can't be having that. The problem is, is <clears throat> our past police department didn't have a very good working relationship with the sheriff's department, which they could have been gone if they would have worked right. I'm just stating, Jim works very well with the sheriff's department. If they need coverage, they've helped in the past. Sure. I'm just saying I'm not opposed to hiring, but I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do more research before I make a decision. I'm not doing one on, I'm not just. We'll get a, we'll get a copy of that study that was conducted uh, in everybody's packet for the next meeting so you can read through that and uh, see what that person had recommended because when that was all going on, I don't even know how many years ago it was. It's been at least. Well, uh, the only five, person that was on there was longer than that. Was a, six, a lot longer than that, about five or six. Six, six, six or eight, something seven. like that. So uh, that was their recommendation. You might so be right. We'll, uh, we'll get a copy of that for you so you can review that, do your own research. I'd like to hear um, a call uh, at the next council meeting on that because uh, it needs to get sorted out. Please your call. <laughs> With no other business, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? All opposed?